share it, what I saw is a bit of, or thought it was a bit of humor as I came in. And there's a few people around the room that will relate to this. And wonderful warm day, but when you know your hair gets thin, I was thinking we need grill, grill cream. Anybody can remember grill cream? <laughs> Anyhow, it's, it's my pleasure today and uh, to make a presentation. Uh, and I thought it'd be useful to talk about the Rotary Foundation, and Brad has talked about it, and, and certainly our million dollar dinner, uh, which is, is uh, coming together quite well. Anyhow, you know, the foundation, it all started in 1912, when Archie Plump, who was president of the Rotary Club of Cleveland, expressed his idea. His idea was, we need an emergency fund uh, or an emergency fund should be built, which will enable the club to do many things in future years. We have no evidence that this idea uh, caught on at that time, but Art persisted the desired idea, and as RI president in 1917, told the delegates of the Atlanta Convention to carry on as we are a miscellaneous community service. It seems eminently proper that we should accept endowments for the purpose of doing good in the world. The statement was the first pebble in what has now become a landslide. The Rotary Club of Kansas decided to buy Arch a gift to recognize him as R.I. President. After the purchase of the gift, $26.50 remains. It ended up, they made a deposit of the $26.50 to what they call the Rotary Endowment Fund, putting Arch's idea into action, 1917. And uh, I'd like to call Brad and Krista up, and it's, uh, oh, the girls will be okay. Harper was telling me what I could do with what I couldn't do with the table, so she'll manage well. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to announce that Brad and Krista have chosen to include the Rotary Foundation in their estate plans, thus making them eligible for Bequest Society membership at level one. As a member of the Rotary Foundation Bequest Society, you are a part of a dedicated group of Rotarians who have committed their accumulated assets to helping others less fortunate. Membership entitles you to special programs designed to increase communications between the foundation staff, volunteers in the field, and Rotary trustees. It is the foundation's hope that this increased awareness will help you better understand our programs and through, your, through you stimulate an awareness of giving within your club and district. It is because of gifts like yours that the foundation is able to carry out an array of programs throughout the world. Programs such as improved living conditions, for the needy families, increased food production and water programs, wider availability of immunization and medical treatment, new channels for the flow of international understanding, peace scholarships, uh, for and greater hopes for peace in the world. And I think just some of you probably know some of the projects we had in the district. Our Belize project, which was we were the first district in the world to start a project that involved the whole country, and that program is funded three hundred thousand dollars out of the Rotary Foundation. And I know you have a number of projects, and there's a number of other projects uh, that have uh, taken place. And as part of the recognition for your, your donation, uh, the Rotary Foundation presents Brad and Krista with this beautiful piece of crystal. And for each of you, in recognition of your contribution, uh, a pin with a diamond in it.